Hi everyone, I'm back um, and I'm really sorry about the delay in getting the next video out. Um, life just got in the way. Um, I can underestimate how, how much time it takes to do a video blog. Um, but I will try and be a bit more um, regular with my videos over the next coming months. Nearly two months to go. Um, a little update on my training. Um, it's at a bit of a standstill, unfortunately. Um, I got a bit of um, tendonitis in my feet and I'm giving myself two weeks out just so I don't do any further damage um, but it will hopefully be okay um, and I'll start building up the distance again this month I was a bit annoyed about that last week but um, I can still cycle and just trying to get myself back on track but it will be fine even if I have to walk it I will do this marathon so this week I wanted to do a video about genetic testing for Huntington's disease so um, I know a lot of people watching this are actually from the HD community and know all about it, know what it's like to be at risk, know um, some of some people may have had the test themselves, went through the process and got either a, a positive or a negative result. Um, but I wanted to do this for people who don't know about it. I think some people assume that they would get tested um, and um, until you're in that situation you really don't know and in actual fact in most people choose not to get tested and this is for a lot of reasons it's all a very personal decision um but quite commonly it's really you don't know there's not a lot you can do um, at the minute there's no treatments that actually stop huntington's or slow it down as i've said before in other videos um and i think a lot of people would rather live in hope um than have that over their heads there's other people that just can't Day was not knowing. I myself chose to get tested um, because of that. I um, felt I needed to know either way what my future was so I can plan and make those life decisions. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's a very personal decision. And as you can imagine, people, if they don't want to know, it might make di it more difficult um, planning families and things like that. So um, I do feel like some people feel, get pressured into getting tested, maybe when it comes to that time when they're thinking about having children. Um, that's usually um, a time you see more people that get tested around um, the age when they're thinking about having children or getting married. Um, maybe they want to, to get tested for their partner's sake so they know what um, is in store. Um, yeah, there's various reasons. Um, I kind of wanted to highlight, do a video about it to maybe get some people talking about how they feel about the, about getting tested. And another thing I wanted to talk about. Um, so now with all the excitement research that's been happening in the last, um, that's been in the news for the last few months, um, I, I really feel that there is a lot more talk about getting involved in research since then, and um people think not starting to rethink um, getting tested because this is probably the most hope people have had in terms of a treatment um, since they found the gene itself. To do research in Huntington's disease patients and to learn more about the disease in, in real life and real humans that have the disease, um, we need to um, you need to be able to compare with people that definitely have the disease or will have the disease against people that definitely don't or will not have the disease and that's why people need to be tested to take part in most research studies. There is a, a study that everybody could take part in called Enroll HD. I highly recommend um, everyone get involved, especially if you were wanting to get involved in research but didn't want to get tested. Anyone can take part in that. People that are at risk, people that have tested negative. Um, so definitely something to think about. What happens when you choose to get tested? So um, for me, I got tested um, in 2014. Um, my family are quite um, against, not against, but didn't really encourage me to want to get tested. So I chose to do it on my own. Um, uh, I just, I also felt um, when you get tested, it's, um, it affects everyone in the family. Um, I've got two, a brother and sister who are at risk. I've got cousins. Um, if I had a bad result or good result, it's going to affect my mum and my dad and how they feel. So I felt I needed to do that on my own um, and deal with the results myself. I went to my GP and got a referral. And then you, a few months later, I had my first appointment with the genetics counsellor. Um, 
and then that's the first appointment they just get to kind of see where you're at and um, get a bit of family history and um, see how much you know about Huntington's disease um, and what it means to find out that you're positive or negative um, and just kind of get to know you a bit more and then they'll uh, explain the process so they explain that they'll have uh, two more um, appointments and then on the third appointment I would get my blood taken um, the second appointment being just again to check in and um, see if I've thought about everything that they've said and if um, I was ready to still wanted to go further with the process third appointment was the blood taking and again confirming that you definitely want to go through with it and then it's the fourth appointment where I am um, you usually get your results um, and those appointments, uh, the main three were a month apart and then a month later after I get the blood I went back to get my result. My genetic counsellor told me that beforehand how she would tell me, she wouldn't beat around the bush, she would, as soon as we got into the room she'd tell me my result, there'd be no chit chat or um, uh, going beating around the bush So, um, and she did that. I was very lucky and tested negative and so testing positive and negative is positive for the Huntington gene, meaning you have the gene. Negative meaning you don't have the gene. So um, sometimes confusing terminology. Um, so she said I had a good result and I was like, hmm, what? what's a good result? Is that um, good? It's not too high repeat or um, good? Do I not have the gene? So um, yeah, a good result is a negative result funny enough and bad result is a positive gene positive so I've got um kind of won the genetic twin costs um but even that's been difficult coming to terms with particularly with a thing like Huntington's and genetics uh, a genetic illness um I still have a huge family that are all at risk although I'm HD free myself I'm still not free of HD obviously I don't, I can't say what it's like to definitely know I'm going to get Huntington's and I can't imagine what that's like. I, I always think I could have dealt with it, but I really don't know. Knowing that you're definitely going to get the disease is, it's just a bit different. It's a different from being at risk because there's always that little bit of hope that you might not get it. So this is kind of the real reason I think why people choose not to get tested. You don't really know until you get a a bad result or um, a gene positive result, how you're going to deal with that. But I think often when people are going through the genetic um, testing process they focus on what are they going to do if they get a gene um, positive result so it's also important to think about both sides. I prepared for getting tested by um, writing myself letters for both outcomes which I found helpful. Um, basically to remind myself why I chose to get it, get tested. Um, but I mean, everyone has their own way and I think everyone knows themselves probably better than anyone else and know whether it's the right decision for them. For me, it felt right getting tested. So that's a bit about my story. Um, I'd love to hear um, from other people um, whether they've been tested or not and how, how they feel. Basically, this is just to kind of lead up to the context of, you know, having babies and the choices people have to make to do that when you're at risk for Huntington's disease. So thank you and um, look out for my next few videos.